partial fractions part fifth question number one integration dx divided by x times x power n minus one what we can do we can multiply it by x power n minus one here and x power n minus one here this will become x power n minus one dx divided by x times x power n minus one will become x power n times x power n now we can put x power n equal to t then n x n minus one dx equal to dt so we have x power n minus one dx so x power n minus one dx equal to dt upon n so it will become one upon n integration dt divided by t times t minus but we can use partial fractions so let's write it one upon t t minus one equals a upon t plus b upon t minus one which will give a t minus one plus b t divided by t times t minus one equal to one upon t times t minus one that is one equal to a t minus one plus b t now we can choose the values of t so when t equal to zero then a equal to minus one and when t equal to one then b equal to one so we have got values of a and b as minus one and one so it will become one upon n integration so here we put brackets and we write the value of a so minus dt upon t plus dt upon t minus one it will become separately we can write dt here outside also but it's okay so either we put one upon n here also and we put integration symbol so that will be better let's proceed it will become minus one upon n integration dt upon t plus one upon n dt upon t minus one dx so we do that integration of dx upon x is log x so it will go one upon n log t plus one upon n log t minus one plus c now we can put the value of t as x power n minus one upon n log x power n plus one upon n log x power n minus one plus c is the answer. Now let's look second question. Integration dx divided by e power x minus one. So we can multiply by e power minus x it will become e power minus x dx and here also we multiply by e power minus x and e power x minus one so what do we get e power minus x dx divided by this will become if you multiply e power minus x into e power x that will become one so it is one and this will become e power minus x now let's check one minus e power minus x equal to t we differentiate it so we get e power minus x dx equal to dt so our question will become integration 
dt upon t that is log t plus c where t equal to 1 minus e power minus x log 1 minus e power minus x plus c. So this is our answer. Let's go to the next question. Integration dx upon x times x power 4 minus 1. Here we can multiply by x cube in numerator and denominator. Dx divided by when x cube is multiplied to x, it becomes x power 4 times x power 4 minus 1. Now we can assume x power 4 equal to t, then 4x cube dx gives t. We have x cube dx. So x cube dx will be 1 by 4 dt. So this will become 1 by 4 integration dt upon t times t minus 1. We use partial fractions. We write 1 upon t times t minus 1 equal to a upon t plus b upon t minus 1. We simplify 1 upon t times t minus 1 equals a t minus 1 plus dt divided by t times t minus 1. So 1 equals a t minus 1 plus dt. We take t equal to 0, then a will be equal to minus 1. And when we take t equal to 1, then b will be So 1 upon t, t minus 1 is equal to minus 1 upon t. So we can say 1 upon t times t minus 1 equal to minus 1 upon t plus 1 upon t minus 1. So we can write it here 1 by 4, but integration within bracket, we write this minus 1 upon t plus 1 upon t minus 1 whole dt. Now we integrate. So it will become 1 by 4. Integration of minus dt upon t will be minus log t plus this will become log t minus 1 plus we can put the value of t as x power 4 so 1 by 4 log x power 4 plus log x power 4 minus 1 plus c which I answer thank you for watching